Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shabam Britt, and we are here to keep watching One Piece. We're in episode 1092. I'm hoping that this episode is going to be very informative or action packed. Honestly, I'll take either, though I'm kind of hoping uh, it's more in information packed than anything. So let's go ahead and dive right into the episode of One Piece 1092. Shabam. Bonnie's lamentation. Darkness lurking on the future island. Alright. Sounds ominous. What? What? They're all him. That's insane. That's not what I expected. No way. No way right now. This is nuts. Yep, I knew they'd be thin now. Are they real people? <gasps> oh my gosh! Luffy's getting a new outfit! Is Chopper gonna get a new one? <laughs> Luffy! <laughs> what kind of outfit are you gonna get? Oh my gosh, I'm excited to see him. What is he? What is he? <gasps> Dope. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I want to see their outfits. I want to see their outfits. Come on. Can you fly with those shoes? Yeah, new outfits. Oh my gosh, what's Bonnie gonna get? Combat dress. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> How cute. I love it. Now just her eyes. <gasps> Look at Chopper. He looks so cool. Jinbei looks quite comfortable. <laughs> That's not a dress, though. <laughs> What's this? Huh? 
No way. I can't believe it. All right, they're s safe for now. What's Bonnie gonna do? Oh, what? Luffy, I love it, so smart. His gut knew. Oh no. Oh crap. Yep, did you see Bonnie? Oh. Oh. oh, poor Bonnie. Oh. Come on, Luffy. Bonnie, I hope you're all right. Dope, this looks so awesome. Yeah, she won't let Luffy, huh? Yep. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh right now. <laughs> oh god, I'm just sailing right into that. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, stop fooling around. It's Blackbeard. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. The music is so intense right now too. It's like a battle is about to happen. Straight up. The war for fruit. Oh my God, look at that horse. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. So, that was a pretty informative episode, you guys. Also, adorable, adorable because Luffy's outfit and Chopper and Bonnie are freaking so cute. I cannot wait to see uh, Robin's and Nami's. <sighs> They're gonna be so cute, I bet. I'm so stoked. But uh, yeah, the beginning of the episode, the world government, was that, was it Luffy? 
Lucy Lucci, that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, what the heck is up with that bird on his shoulder? First of all, like pigeon looking thing in a suit as well. It didn't talk. So like, what's up with it? <laughs> First of all. Also, why are they here to bring Kuma back to Egghead Island? Why is that their mission? And also, why are they he here to eliminate Vegapunk? I'm, I'm glad to know like that they're there and what their mission is but I'd love to know why their mission is what it is I mean they probably don't even know why right because what's his face um do with the bird Lucci was like does this have anything to do with uh that island being destroyed yeah it probably does but that blonde chick was like shut up don't be nosy right yeah this was uh a very interesting development. Also, I'm sorry, but are they also going to be here to try to snatch Robin? Remember, that was their goal over uh, in Wano. So I find it hard to believe that, that now that they would just all of a sudden not want to try to snatch her anymore and kidnap her. So I'm still a little nervous for our girl Robin. Uh, I hope that they don't have a side mission of kidnapping her. And uh, we also learned about Vegapunk, how all of these Vegapunks that we're meeting are actually part of Vegapunk. He split himself. Somehow he learned how to split him. He figured out how to split himself into multiple beings that can get work done so he can get more shit done right that's that's what the um agents were saying i also maybe think it was because of safety right so if someone came to the island like right now and wanted to kill him they wouldn't have just one person to hunt down right perhaps they would have to hunt down all of them to kill vegapunk i don't know just a theory but that makes sense to me and it would also be a uh form of safety right not only is he multitasking to the fullest <laughs> but uh he's also a little bit safer i wonder if they're like real beings or if they're like robots or if they themselves are holograms or i don't know i don't know I'm intrigued, but I was not expecting that to be the case. So that was pretty cool to learn. Like I said, I had wanted an information packed episode. This was kind of quite a bit of information to get within the first like five minutes of the episode. So heck yes, I'd say that's a big W. And oh my gosh, I was not expecting to see Kuma on the island already. Like I really wasn't. And especially trying to hunt down Luffy. It sounds like he was hunting them down because they didn't pay for their food and clothes and maybe they littered, right? So it sounds like just for the infractions that they did upon Egghead Island that, that that's why he's hunting them down. And, and he was like already programmed to be a policeman for the island somehow. I don't know, it's strange, but goodness. Goodness, Bonnie. Oh my gosh, her reaction to seeing him. I really, really was not expecting her to be that torn up about it. Dang, it really tore at my heartstrings. And then when she had that little memory of when she was little and how he was playing with her. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, that was sad. That was rough she just said please don't hurt my dad oh my gosh it's the only family i have left and then like once luffy and chopper and jimbe realized what she was saying and who she was talking about this whole time oh like made it even worse right and then she couldn't even move when he was literally gonna blast her with a laser kuma was and i mean i hope luffy didn't get fucked up saving her kind of looks like he might be he can't bounce that off we already know he can't so uh yeah maybe his armor helped i don't know his new outfit i don't know but yeah i don't know i hope they're okay but goodness her just crying and sobbing tears streaming down her face it was really rough to watch it was sad i felt bad for her. poor bonnie and then the end of the episode law has to fight Blackbeard? What? I'm sorry, how random is that right now? And like, dang, this guy just does not get a break, right? Just helped to defeat Kaido and Big Mama. And uh, yeah, now he gets to deal with Blackbeard. What? I mean, why? And their ship is so giant. Could they just turn into a submarine and go 
just skedaddle. <laughs> Bala said, we're not running away. Ugh. There is so much going on right now. There are so many, like, mini adventures happening in this huge adventure. It's kind of nuts. It's exciting. And it's also kind of nuts. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay, so next episode is going to be a good one. I think next episode is going to be more action-packed this time. <laughs> At least I hope. I mean, what are they going to do about Kuma? I have no idea. Maybe he's still in there and his daughter can now pull him out somehow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very much looking forward to 1093. So hopefully I will see you guys there. Um, until then, have a fantastic day, a stellar week, and uh, I will see you guys super soon. Goodbye. Shabam.